And we're just zeroing in on Brother John Spear Bolt, the captain leader. Oh, yes, he's waking up. Yes, there he is. It's Brother John. Brother John. <laughs> Look at him, folks. The sign of a true champion. We'll swing up on the deck. Ah, we'll Good swing. morning, friends. It's time to brush the sleepy dust from your eyes. Rise and shine, up and at them. TV Tunes proudly begins with broadcast day. <laughs> hey, Brother John! Hey, let's go to the Grand National! NBC Sports, what a great morning! That's Susan. Good morning, Susan! You look beautiful. Are you ready for the competition? I'm ready for the competition. <laughs> She's ever ready. ready. Is the water hot? And her, her bucket beak hair is curled up, ready for the Grand National. Well, let's have the little finale to turn that music up and let's go. Okay, we're off. Captain Kangaroo is going to ski even. Hello, Kathleen. Hi. And there's Mom. Mom, say hello. Hi. Hello there. Say good morning. Folk on entries in the second Grand a National. What do you say, Denise? I say... Is the water hot? Thanks for letting me be here. What, the water is hot. What do you think of the competition today? Well... What competition? There's only Michael and uh, he's pretty hot. All right, let's swing up to the great uh, grand champion. What do you have to say about the competition? Oh, my God. What competition? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your sponsor this year? Budweiser. <laughs> well, that's a sign of a great champ. He doesn't talk about himself. He talks about his sponsors. Don't they look great, folks? Don't they look great? The sweethearts of the tour. And let's swing down to the queen of the tour, Miss Sharon Clausen. Hi there. Where is she, folks? Oh, there she is. Doesn't she look beautiful? Let's zero in on her. Give us a smile. I want you to know my husband left me this morning. I found a new boyfriend. Oh, boy. I think it's Ricardo Montalban. His name's Todd Cockrell. Oh, let's swing over and get Todd. He was my Good boy morning, guy. Todd. Say hello to the cameraman. Again, this super grand master from Orn, Utah, <laughs> who's, who's entered in this second grand national. What do you say about <clears throat> your team there, uh, Mr. Clark? Which sport are you referring to? Uh, to the great uh, water <laughs> competition? I think we uh, have an excellent chance of a win here today. I uh, think uh, if we can get Cockrell to retire from the team, our chances of coming in for a decent placement are probably superb. <laughs> what do you say about the water today? The water conditions are excellent. I think that they're cold enough that probably the uh, sissy types across the bay, the reeds, the hawses and stuff, they'll be uh, adversely affected. But, of course, our more macho uh, team will um, triumph. Give us one, Willie, for the road. Willie hitting at a ball line run down the schoolhouse hall. Out the door came Dr. Hill. Several teeth are missing still. We have the two queens. Uh, will you notice how beautiful they are? Wow! You know, they've been on NBC Sports uh, before, and, and we recognize them as talent, beauty, and a competitive desire. Ladies, what do you have to say? 
Well, I'll, I'll let my spokesman speak for us. Miss <laughs> 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 Colorado, Karen Cockrell. <laughs> Actually, we did make a uh, first yesterday. We swam across the lake. English Channel. English Channel. <laughs> Arriving on the other side in uh, record time, yeah. correct? Yes. And uh, we're rescued at the last moment by a dashing a big meal. <laughs> was that the great big meal? That was the great big meal. The log. A grand man. We are really trying to set records this, this year. Uh, we are going to do a triple somersault off of our skis. What, what, what? First time in the competition. How, how do you how do you measure up the competition as compared this year with last year? Well, we're so, so far superior. We're like you know number tens, and they're like five. Uh, Karen, uh, what have you been doing uh, to condition yourself for the competition? <laughs> That's been the problem. <laughs> uh, just, it's natural. Just just tell us a little bit about your training. Oh, my training begins at five every morning with a purely natural breakfast. Uh, no sugar, salt, any of any type. We run 10 miles in the morning to begin with, and an aerobic class at 10, and uh, swimming, 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 25 miles, jogging, yes, uh, continues through the evening. No red meat. It's really been strenuous, but we're Boy, what a training program. There. <laughs> Fans, what do you think uh, of these two great young ladies? We're Classics. Wonderful. We're just wonderful. Man. <laughs> you know the this is NBC Sports. This is Watermelon Clausen. We we have a few of the competitors frolicking in the water. Let's zero in on Shalene Cockrell. Shalene, what do you have to say? <laughs> Not much. I don't know. Boy, you look great in that water. What do you think about the competition? Oh, down there. Let's zero in on Kathleen. What do you have to say about the competition, Kathleen? Oh, I am trained. I'm ready to go. I have been training for a long time. This is going to be hot. Oh, boy. Didn't she look great? Um, look at that smile. Let's zero in one shot at uh, Shalene Cockrell. What breakfast did you have this morning for the training competition? Wheaties. Wheaties. All right. Thank you. You see, sports, we got Rex Cockrell. What do you have to say about the competition this morning, Rex? Competition, I'm just happy to be here. Just out here having fun. That is Rex Cockrell, one of the hottest men on the tour. We have the sweethearts of the tour, Denise and Michael. What do you say about your love life there, Michael? Well, it's going to be good. I'm, I'm getting ready for a drought for about two years. <laughs> Getting as much as I can while I can. Yeah, get as much as I can while I can. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say about that, Denise? Remember, this film is being broadcast to your hometown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, Mom and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. One of the new competitions. Uh, we've never tried this at the Grand Nationals. This is called the Red and Yellow Bumper Ride. We have Sharon Clausen in the yellow. What do you have to say about it, Sharon? Oh, I'm so excited. You know, as a team, we are going to be fantastic. We are going to go up five feet, a uh, world record. What do you call your team? Uh, the Sunshine Girls with the Red Rose. All right. <laughs> and um, Karen Cockrell, she's riding the big red bumper. What do you have to say? I'm scared. <laughs> We have uh, Dr. Cockrell that we brought in from Colorado Springs doing the color. Uh, what do you have to say about these two ladies? Well, ladies, I want to hear how you each feel about it. <laughs> Terrified. Terrified. Well, we're going to have a wonderful time. Uh. <laughs> All right. Are we, 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 are. we are. Are we ready for the big, fantastic yes, bumper? We're ready. The water's great. Let's go, driver. NBC Sport. Here we are, the bumper ride. Lake Powell, we have the grand man of the trip, Millen Clausen. How's your day? Well, thank you. Uh, this is Big Mill at Lake Powell. 
I have my partner ready to go. We have some new competition this year. It's called the Red and Yellow Bumper Ride. And we've seen the competition earlier, and there's no doubt that Big Ron, and he's a young man from Wyoming, that we're going to clean up on this particular competition. There's absolutely no competition, so if you can hold on for a minute and cut the cameras, I'm getting in with my partner, and we will hear his comment. Thank you, Mr. Clausen. We'll now hear from Dr. Cox. Good morning, this is Sharon Clausen again for NBC Sports. We're here at the National uh, Marathon Olympics for the bumper ride competition. We have Dr. Cockrell and Millen Clausen. Uh, let's hear Big it. meal to the Big meal and <laughs> Doc. Hello, Ronnie, here we and go. How are you doing today, Ron? Great. How do you feel about the competition oh, today? It's really fantastic Dr. today. I can hardly wait. Well, what are you going to do? for a long time. What are you going to do different than the other teams have done? Uh, we're going to really hit it. I mean, we're going to hit it hard. And we got our bottoms waxed with a special wax. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to slip and slide over that water like you've never seen it before. Boy, you want some intelligent guys. It's us. Well, you don't take steroids, And do we you? are no <laughs> wimps, right? No wimps, right? Why, the great guys from college. We have the uh, entry of a brand new junior team. Uh, the team captain is Matthew Clausen. What do you have to say about the competition, Matthew? Uh, not too much. There really is no competition. No rules or sport. <laughs> okay, let's swing on to your partner. What do you think about the competition today? We got it licked. No sweat. We've uh, been working out for at least two years now. Suffered many injuries, but no blood. All right. Let's hear it for NBC Sports and these two junior competitors. One last word from you, Matt. <laughs> Get it. Well, I had to sweat to especially your thighs. <laughs> so my rear is so slit. End of a position. End of a position. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my grand national partner from last oh, year, brother it. Tom Reed. What do you say, Tom? My river. Boy, you, you know, uh, he injured himself yesterday in a great run with Matthew Clausen driving. What do you say about that injury, uh, Brother Reed? Well, it was like this. We were going down the channel. Must have been going 40 at least. We were coming up, and there was a big piece of driftwood out there. I went around the driftwood. I missed it successfully. I didn't miss the water. Boy, I'll tell you, that is a real competitor, what you call real guts. Let's hear it for the big Thomas Michael Yay! Reed. We have uh, one of the new competitors. Uh, let's zero in on him. Uh, let's get him up here. Big uh, let's Doug get him up here. Jensen. Let's get him up here. He's from Longmont. Longmont, I just like the Chamber his... of Commerce. You well, notice. Well, wait, I... Come here, Tom. Big, big Doug uh, Jensen. Doug, what do you have to say for yourself? Well, the only thing that I have to say is, is the last time Tom and I met like this, Tom simply said to me, go with the pain. <laughs> Tom, do you remember that statement? I'd like to get Unfortunately, I I'd like to get that on film. Oh, and boy. What a, what a, Lake last it was year. just below the lower left pectoralis major that I had my injury. And now, Tom, would you show him? Could you kind of isolate that injury right for here. Him? All so right. The same spot. Two great champions from Lake Powell at the second Grand National. I appreciate the time. Clausen, say something, Lynn. Um, I don't know. You look, be you look beautiful. And we'll swing over to our new newest entry. Uh, this is Watermelon Head Clausen from Lake Powell. We have the wonderful Spear with us. <laughs> Good Carolina. Morning. Good morning, America. <laughs> Now, what do you have to say, Carolyn, on this great day of competition? Well, let's see, what do, I, <laughs> what do I have to say about the competition? You look gorgeous water, this morning. Water is looking good, and that we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll go for it. Hey, <laughs> hey you know what? You look great this morning. I had, had a minor back injury. However, I've had my uh, private masseuse, Miss Clark, with me, and that we've really done an outstanding job. So we'll we'll see. Okay. What what type of training have you gone through to prepare for this competition? Very little. That's probably why I have a slight back injury. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, you know. 
What do you have to say to the folks back home in Colorado Springs? She's got a lot of heart. Wish you could be here because it's beautiful and we're having a great Good afternoon. Buy the cover for this this is the two men in the tub. We're NBC this year. We're NBC Sports reporting from Lake Powell. We have Dr. Clark and Mr. Clausen on the Esquire. Esquire on the bumper ride. Let's hear it for the big man and my buddy Jimmy Boy. Woo! Yeah. Hey. 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 Dr. Clark, give us a little advice about your strategy today. I feel that uh, between Brother Clausen and myself, we'll try and be triumphant over the whip out the cross channel. All right. All right. second Grand National. I have some great ladies up here to give me a little color. We're viewing uh, our spot at Iceberg Canyon. What do you think, ladies? Well, I, th I think you can see the boat going off, the kids down below, and that getting ready to take another bumper ride just as the sun is about to set. Here, Boy, they look like some real competitors, don't they? Boy, don't they? We'll swing We'll swing back to our opposing team on the other side of the canyon <laughs> and zero in on them if I can find them. Ah, oh, there they are. There they are. <laughs> They're observing our people. The entire bunch having such a day going to Wrangler. Back right and forth. Back. Then back and forth. All right, let's zero in on our team. Let's Everybody see how they're doing. Oh, look at our team there. They look great. There's John and Mike. Now, early in the morning, uh, Big Jay Spear is ready to take his uh, uh, training run this morning. What do you have to say about the competition out there, Big Jay? It's going to be really tough. You look tough. Doesn't he look great? The gallery's here, and let's give him a hand. Okay, folks, uh, this is Watermelon Clausen <coughs> from NBC Sports. And, yes, it is. And we have 
That's it, isn't it? Paul Spears, the great junior competitor from Colorado Springs. And Paul, uh, you had uh, a really good season last year. But what does this season look like? Well, it's looking good so far. Since I switched from Team Job to Team EP, I think I'll be able to win this year and uh, um, blow everyone else off the water. <laughs> How's the water look today? Well, it's not glass, but it'll have to do since You, you, you know, you look tough. You know, you, you just look tough out there. And, and the, what do you have to say to the folks in Colorado Springs? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's Big Paul Spears from Colorado Springs. Woo! Let's hear it for him. Woo! Woo! Hey, Big Paul. Uh, Big uh, Paul Spears, let's be on the right. Woo! Yeah, wow, he looks wonderful. Boy, look at those rooster tails. Woo! Boy, this is a year. Okay, here we are at the second Grand Nationals at Lake Powell. We have the big Matt, the great Clausen. What do you have to say about the water, the competition, and the experience on the tour this year? Matt? Well, the water's looking real good. Can't wait to get in. As you can see, probably by the camera, it's kind of getting a little choppy out here by the boat, how the boat's moving, but I'm sure I'll be able to cut them up. Well, what have we Who's your sponsor this year? Uh, I got EP. EP is the ultimate ski. Okay, I got my color man here. How does he look uh, there, Big John? He looks great. He looks like he's ready to fly. Well, like that is a flying suit. Well, let's get him on the water and see how he performs uh, as the tour director and the chief competitor and the exemplary man from EP. Let's hear it for Big Matt. Go yeah, Back on camera again, we have uh, Sue's Spear, the darling of the tour. What do you have to say to NBC Sports and Watermelon Closet? Well, I am ready for the competition this year. This year, Last year it was pretty tough, but this year I've got a new ski, Classic Honeycomb Graphite EP. And I think I'm really going to do well. I'm preparing myself for the big competition down in Fort Lauderdale, which I'll be leaving for August 24th. Um, I'd like you to meet my uh, step-in trainer here since my regular trainer, Mr. Brett Millett, couldn't be here today. Is that, is that the craze? Yes, right. this is the craze, and uh, she yeah, really has been in training for, for the uh, ultimate competition yeah, in Fort face. Lauderdale. That is going to be the ultimate competition. Oh, uh, she think? looks hot. Doesn't she look wonderful? What do, you, what do you have to say to those great folks in Colorado Springs? Oh, it's beautiful out here. This is for my sweetheart, Brett. Well, you know, I, a, a big Suze, you look great. You know, I understand that the uh, Chamber of Commerce from Fort Lauderdale is scouting you today. What do you have to say about that? Well, like I said, I'm preparing myself for the big competition down in Fort Lauderdale, August 24th. We'll all be there rooting for you. Let's give her a hand. <laughs>
the newest competitor. He had, did not compete last year at the Grand Nationals at Lake Powell. It's John Lundgren from Santa Ana, California. John, what do you say? Uh, you've never competed in the uh, Lake uh, Powell Grand Nationals. Well, I say that um, the water looks really nice, and I've been training all year for this. Um, my folks back home and all that, they've been getting me a lot of sponsors and some trainers and been hitting it out there and been training a lot and surfing and all that type of water. Oh, he looks hot. Let's give him a hand. Let's go. Yeah, Big John. Big John. Yeah. Woo have just seen one of the greatest run on history at uh, the great international at Lake Powell. And President Caroline Spear has just completed the senior run. Can you comment for us? Well, yes, thank you. Actually, this is my first run in the senior division. Uh, the water was great this morning, had a, a good run. Since this is my first time, I'm not sure exactly how I'll place. I got lots of competition, but had a great run this morning. Oh uh, boy, doesn't she look good, folks? Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you say to the sisters back there in Colorado Springs? Well, just that it's looking great out here. I had a great time with this uh, fantastic competition and hope that I can represent Colorado Springs. Folks, uh, this is the craze. What do you craze. say, craze? Well, I'd say that uh, there used to be a tall man in this competition by the name of Watermelon Clausen. And now I am taller because I'm wearing my elevator skis today. Now, this is a special brand elevator ski. Now, it looks like I'm skiing backwards on this ski, but I'm really not. It just looks that way, you see. So as soon as I get out there, you're going to see some really trick moves. Oh, you look great, John. You just look marvelous out there. Let's hear it for Big John Spear. We, we have the winner of last year of the grand competition. Uh, what do you have to say, Big Mike, about the competition this year? You know, win again, they're all going to lose. <laughs> How's the water look to you? You really want the truth? Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> hey, we'll swing over and take that good looking at your companion there. What does she have to say about the competition this year? She's a brand, brand new individual on the tour, and uh, Big Mike, who's your sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> this year, huh? Campex. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's hear it for Big Mike. Uh, he's uh, on an SM. He's got those EP gloves on. He looks hot. What are you going to do out there? Water ski. <laughs> <laughs> let's hear it for Mike. One, two, three for Mike! Woo! Big move! Yeah. Woo! Go! <laughs>
Rex Cockrell, who finished his first Grand National run. What do you say about uh, the water there? Uh, it's hard. I'm in pain right now. <clears throat> Could have done better, but... <laughs> <laughs> Great I'll run. Later. All right. Who's your, who, who's your sponsor this year? My sponsor, Millen Claussen. Best, my, my sponsor, as well as my trainer. <laughs> Tell me everything I know. Big Mill <laughs> for the Big folks mill. at home. Yeah. Well, you look good out in those skis today. Well, thanks. Thank you. Rex Cochran. We have Kathleen Clark from NBC Sports. Kathleen, what do you have to say about uh, the water out there and the competition and your first Grand National? Exciting to be here. This equipment is new. I don't know. I might not have such a great run, but I'm hoping that it'll do. Do me proud, this new ski. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I need to get in the water. Oh, now. you look Bye. hot. Of the beautiful Kathleen Car yeah, Clark, Jennifer. I mean Jennifer, <laughs> from Orem, Utah. Hello. What do you say about Orem? Um, Orem. Orem. It's sunny in Orem, and it's very hot there. Well, I thought the folks back home <laughs> might want to know that. What yes. do you say about the competition today? Uh, the competition looks pretty rough today, but I think that I'll be able to show my colors and do real well. How do you like that <clears throat> A new graphite glass ski? I love this ski. I tried this the first day we were out here, and I really was impressed with this equipment, and I feel really confident well, you, you look you, you look hot today. Good luck to you. <laughs> well, thank you. Grand Nationals, Yay! NBC Sports. <laughs> NBC Sports. Uh, we have Denise Glover. She's a new entry from Purdue University, Indiana. Yeah. What do yeah, you have please. to say, Denise, about the competition today? Well, um, in the beginning league, there is none. <laughs> <laughs> I should manage to do fine. Well, you look good. Um, uh, what do you think of that new uh, EP glass graphite ski? Well, we'll see if it's good if it brings <laughs> well, good luck to you, the little girl from Indiana. Woo! We have a special treat this morning at NBC Sports. We have the Grand Lady. Of all ladies, the queen of the seas, the queen of the water skis. Queen of the fat. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon Larie Bailey Clausen. Can you talk about your competition in your age bracket? Well, in my age bracket, there is no one in my competition. But I would still be uh, terrific because I have the skill, I have the energy, I have the age. Well, let's hear it for her. of our younger uh, competitors and they're the last day at Lake Powell with the Grand Master of the trip. What do you have to say? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thanks for calling me the Grand Master. The uh, water looks very hot. There aren't many competitors out here my age and the old man is going to give her heck today. Right. We're going to rip up this beautiful water and I have my buddy here, uh, Brother Cockrell, with me, and uh, he's going to be skiing on one ski today. And uh, we are going to jointly enter into the Grand National Senior Men Division. And uh, we are going to be terrific. Driver, are you ready? Driver's awake, and we're ready to go. Let's hit it. 
me. What? No. No, no, no. No, it's not even. Not recording, huh? Look at the little red light. We have uh, two of the great uh, skiers of all time, Thomas Michael and Karen Reed. And uh, notwithstanding the rough water, she was out there skiing this morning. Just want you to know how tough the Iron Man Thomas Michael is. He uh, cracked a few reeds, uh, ribs. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's hear it from Karen about the competition this year and. Uh, uh, your observation of uh, the conditions and the trainers. Well, my trainer was incapacitated the second day, so it was kind of a slow year, but, you know, it slowed me down just a little bit. Cameron. Oh, thank you. Don't cut me off, for heaven's sake. Well, commercials I mean, to pay for Oh, yes, years. yes. I know that next year when we come back, he will be dynamite again, and, and consequently, I will be too. All right, Big Mike, let's hear it from you. Well, I'd, I'd really like to hear from the uh, former uh, champion over here. Well, we want to want to hear the folks back home want to hear a little bit about your injuries. Oh, it was dynamite! It was dynamite. We were going down the canyon, just zipping along, and a big log loomed up out of the water. And I swerved, and I missed the log, but I lost control <laughs> and kaboom. And no doubt you uh, just smashed that logs to smithereens. Oh, yes, yes. The impact was uh, amazing. It was like Indianapolis 500 going around the corner number three. Well, this is typical of Mr. Thomas Michael Reed, and this is NBC Sports, Watermelon Clausen. Let's swing over to the young competitors that we had an opportunity to see ski last year, but uh, did not elect to enter the competition this year. Can you tell us why you did not enter the competition? I had some business to take care of over in Europe this last week. <laughs> just been busy. I just barely flew in last night. And, uh, so we're going to be making up for it the next couple of days. Skiing. All right. Well, NBC Sports wants to know uh, whether you folks ever joined uh, together in matrimony. Yes, yes. it's true. <laughs> Since the last episode. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is ABC Sports, NBC. We're on the air. Connor Reed at the second Grand Nationals, and this is NBC Sports. Big Mill Clausen. Let's hit her, driver. We have just uh, reviewed Connor Reed making that great run. It was one of the better runs. In fact, I think you broke your time of last year and style and points. Uh, Connor, can you tell us a little bit about the competition this year? Well, the top What do you have to say back to the folks at home in Longmont? Uh, what a great young competitor. This is NBC Sports. Watermelon Clausen signing. Uh, we have Megan Reed. Uh, this is what we've all been waiting for. I have my color commentary, commenter, uh, my partner, <laughs> Big Mike Reed. Mike, what do you have to say? Well, this is the uh, category. Hello, 
uh, this ends the 1986 grand competition at Lake Powell. Everybody's gone home and the only buddy left is Big Mill from NBC, also known as Watermelon as we scan over the waterfront. Some great competitors, some great families, and some great uh, eternal families. We're grateful for all the families that came down here. And maybe we could just have one comment from my co-captain. Of our summer as a family, we know it probably has been for a highlight for our friends. And we appreciate our friends, our eternal friends. And, and I hope that we can do this for many, many years. Because our lives are all changing with our children growing up. But friends are eternal, and we love them. <laughs>